All right, what's up? Today I'm gonna be teaching you. I'm gonna change this to white really quick so I cannot see. Right. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to change colors on the Raisin Husband Mini and a review on it because I did just get it for Christmas. Today's Christmas. If you're watching this, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Now I'm gonna be showing you first how to change colors on it because I feel that's the easiest. So what you're gonna do is hold F N and Control. All right. It, it, now and all these up at the top here. If you if you see it under F12, F11, all those are F keys. So you need a F N Control and then pick any one of them. So for this case, I'm gonna do F N Control eight. And and you can like double press these. I don't know. I think it, on. my fingers are, are just a little small. All right. So I changed it. And now any key that we press. So essentially, it was confusing for me at first. So you're just gonna hold F N and Control at the same exact time and press anything. So for instance, I'm gonna press four. That's what happens when you press four. See, so, so and also, if you would like, if you have a PC, I'm waiting on uh, my new one to get in. So, but if you have a PC, you can plug it into there and go on Razor Synapse and change all the colors to what you customly like. You can also change it to certain keys lit up and stuff like that. Uh, well, uh, see, this is the easiest key to light up because. You can just press FN and then U because that's a little game lock key. Uh, but you can make it so that the whole keyboard is different color and you can make W, A, S, and D like white if you want. So that's just a quick little tip on how to change colors because I was also confused at first. And unfortunately for this review, I do, I do not have the box. I did throw it out, but... Sorry, entering something right now. Um, but I can do just a quick review of it, pretty much. So if you look on the bottom here, most of the keys are sticking up, and I like that, personally. Uh, I, there's also a little two stand on the back. I don't want to flip it over, because I have it set perfectly on my desk, and kind of like that sort of person where it's set perfectly, I do not want to move it. Um, it has two stands on the back, one inside of the other, and you can flip either one out uh, to make it stand up more because at first it's flat. I like it a little bit more tilted. And so if you can sort of see in the back, there's a little stain going out. Uh, it's a 60% keyboard. I don't know if it's like the first 60% keyboard that Razer made, but I, I just know that it's, I, I like it most, uh, most pretty much every pro that plays keyboard and mouse is in fact switching to this keyboard it's a uh, it's a great choice there's a black and white edition i like the black edition because it matches the rest of my setup it matches my mouse oh and my mouse is dead that's great but um i also got led lights for christmas so that's cool nice right. anyways i'm gonna show you my old keyboard that i had it was this right here it's a Razor Black, uh, Black Widow Ultimate. I had these keycaps on it. Uh, these are green switches. And these are, oh, this is a line here, I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't really, like, uh, you know, looked into that. I just know that it is, in fact, a good keyboard. And at $119, it is... Yeah, it's it's worth it. I'd say. Uh, so, oh, also, but when you do it, make sure you're pressing. This is I like the setting too, but you gotta press F N and Control and hold them down at the same time, and then press whatever number you want while you're holding them down. It had me pretty confused at first because I was pressing them, and also if you want to switch, say you're on five, this is five, wave. Also, to control, like, arrow keys, you're going to want to hold FN, and then whatever is your down, 
arrow key, yeah, it's I, J, and K, and L, so you just hold that, it navigates with the arrows, however, you probably won't need that if you have a mouse, I'm just guessing, if you have a keyboard, you probably have a mouse, um, but you can switch, so pretty much the wave is going this way on here, but if I want to change that, I can make it go the other way, so it's shifting this way now. I like it this way though, just kind of my stock sort of thing, and you can change it to whatever. And like I already mentioned, if you do, uh, also there's cables, there's coil cables for it and all that. But I, um, I just prefer this because I can't really run coil cable through here at the moment because of this. I know it's horrendous, but I'm getting one of my monitors broke, I'm getting double. So try not to mind this big thing on my desk for right now. Uh, but my cable pretty much runs back there through and under over to my Xbox currently because I am getting a new PC. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it on on that. Uh, yeah, if you want more reviews or anything of it, uh, let me know. And until next time, bye.